Right. Hey guys, how you doing? Elton from Air and Earth here, um, at the garden manager. Uh, it is winter, um, so things are getting cold, we're getting frosts. So I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, how to protect some of your seedlings and your plants. So the first thing I've got going on, uh, as you can see here, is some snow peas, which have been going quite well. I've had some netting, exclusion netting over them, and they're growing good. They're going to probably flower soon and the frost might knock off their flowers and then I won't get any snow peas. So as you can see, I've got the construction already constructed from the netting they had on it. All I'm going to do is just some simple plastic that you can get from the garden centre. And I'm just going to get it over. I'm just going to go around the back now. So I can pull it over because my arms are a bit short to reach, you see? <laughs> so I need to come over like this. Now I'll come around the front again, as I have a fence in the way. So, I'm not going to secure it today, but I'm going to secure it with cable ties. But as you can see inside, if you put the camera inside, they've got their own little greenhouse and it should hide them from frost. One thing that's important is it's not completely sealed, which it's not gonna be, because that's almost impossible to do like this. They still need air to breathe. So it's good to keep them hot and protected, but they still need air. Now follow me and I'll show you, this way, <laughs> <laughs> behind the trees. <laughs> that's our blood orange there. Not Ooh. quite ready yet, but tasty when it will be. Um, so down here, Crazy, Elton. This is like a little plant nursery here, isn't it? With all these, uh, all the all the covers over the veggie garden. It's it amazing. Is. So, if you have the knowledge or the know-how or can find one, build a frame, put some plastic around it. As you see, I've got my little seedlings there, one and protected, straight over the top. Again, it's done a bit dodgily, but I'm I'm fine with that because it's got air. We can breathe, and it'll be protected from the frost. Next thing is something you can do at home really easy in a little pot if you want to. Milk bottle, which I've cut, yeah? Different types, different sizes, different guards. I've got my little mint in here, which I've just planted. If you're worried about frost, and you see on the news it's gonna be a frosty night, just cover it up. In the daytime, it's got something to breathe. Nighttime, Put it down. The smaller plants you could use the one like this, and that'll still work. It'll still protect you from the frost because it's covered over the top. Now the bottom of this one, I'm putting the ground like this. Now I'm not con condoling killing of animals and things, but sometimes slugs and snails annoy us. They eat our plants. Put a little beer or wine or something in there. They get attracted to it, the sugar's in it, they fall in, they drown. They have a good time before they drown. Well, <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do, I suppose, but that is an old, an old trick. Um, it's a good way to recycle and use plastic bottles, because as you know, we're not sure if they're being recycled 100% these days. So the more we can use at home, the less waste we have. I hope that helped um, with frost on your plants. If you have any questions or anything like that, don't hesitate to check us out on Facebook, email us. Have a great day. See you later.